Hello, hello. We are here for something a little bit special. We, uh, at the beginning of Cirque Sofe season two, or at the end of Cirque Sofe season one, the party left behind their friend Dove. Dove, <laughs> you were left behind uh, at Bavlorna's cottage to serve her for the duration of eight days while your friends complete a chore for her to retrieve something from her sister's home. <gasps> we are recording these little mini episodes for you guys so you guys can watch them during breaks or before the show starts or on our YouTube channel. So we're not quite sure how we're going to use them yet, but for now, we want to tell this story of what Dove's been doing this whole time. Yay! This <laughs> is day one. Dove. Oh, God. Yes. Bavlorna <laughs> hobbles over to you. Actually, she floats on this large uh, lily pad that she floats on. Ooh. You see the miniature versions of her. They're all squatted around her. I love them. Those little, little beady dudes. eyes looking at you. Well, what should we put you to work doing today? Hmm? Oh, hmm. it's a poor thing. You have a uh, preference, girl? Hmm? Um, well, perhaps you need something clean? She'll gesture um, to the overall state oh, of things. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, quite a bit, I think. Is there anything you won't do? Anything that is particularly distasteful for you? Um, I don't think there's anything distasteful that I can think of offhand, but I'll let you know. Hmm. Let's see about that. First, I want you to clean up around the place, particularly the taxidermy area. And, uh, why don't you go ahead and clean up the dining hall while you're at it, too, hmm? Like, floor scrubbed, that kind of thing? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Organize, clean up any of the stains, polish. Okay. Um, do you have things I can use? There's cleaning supplies in the closet over there. Help yourself. <laughs> She's just very awkwardly gonna over to the closet. You head into the closet. Um, you find there's a bunch of cleaning supplies. Some of them never, uh, never really touched before. They look brand new. Of course not. No, why would they be used? Of course. No, I, why would you? She will gather everything her little arms can carry. Okay. Um, I think I'll s we'll start with the... I think... Mm, let's see, what's the best place to start? Best way to start. Um, We'll start in the room that... The first room she wants done, I think, which is this room, right? And then uh, the dining hall? She refers to the taxidermy room. Ah, the taxidermy room. Uh, that is... One moment, one moment. Uh, she sends you in there... And what you see is that is one second. Sorry, 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 sorry. Here we go. She sends you in there, and what you find is a taxidermy workshop. You see a horse head leers at you with glossy <laughs> eyes, its lips drawn back from pointed yellow teeth. Its head is affixed to a large eight-limbed armature made of wicker and wire, situated such that it faces the doorway when you enter. Near it is a wooden crate. Flies are buzzing around the room, uh, landing occasionally on animal carcasses that lie strewn in small piles on the table. There are low uh, tables assorted everywhere with tools, knives, saws, scrapers, a hand crank, uh, a hand cranked drill, a su uh, sewing threads and needles and uh, various oils to preserve these specimens. The place is a mess. Yeah, it is. Go ahead and oh. give me, let's say, athletics. 
Okay. You clean up as best you can. You're scrubbing the floors. You're getting all of this stuff organized. At one moment, you go and you pick something up. And to your disgust, there are just flies buzzing around it. And you just see the underside of this piece of skin that she must have peeled off. It was left and there are just maggots covering the bottom side. Oh. It is wretched. They are swarming. As you pick it up, a clump of them just falls off onto the floor. Give me a constitution saving throw. That's... That's valid. A 19. You manage to keep your stomach together and continue cleaning. Yeah, let's let's get rid of... Let's clean that up for sure. Oh, buggies. I don't know. Are any of those little dudes, the little mini Bavlornas around? Maybe they want a little snack. They, maybe you they want the bugs, you know? Look outside, and you actually remember there was a patio just outside her bathing area, the bathing pool that you last encountered her near. Mm -hmm. Outside that there's a porch covered in frogs. Yeah, I'll give them a little snack. Wonderful. You go and open the door for the frogs, sort of baiting them in. Next thing you know it, her entire shop is now filled with frogs oh, as no. they are essentially having just a wonderful time. Good for them, honestly. I mean, they should, they'll clean up all the buggies. Yeah, frogs, they are just having a world of a time them. I'll wait for them to finish and then I will shoo them out. Just... Go ahead and give me animal handling. <laughs> I'll try. Nice. A 17. You go ahead and you get these frogs like ushered in and out. You're able to get them out without any issue. Yay! That was pretty easy. I'll mop up after them. Yeah. Because I'm sure they left little little goo, little mucus. You actually have an easy time. Uh, oh. After this, it's late in the day. In fact, the sun has set. You're getting tired. Yeah. It's what would been you like to do? Day. I mean, she said to just clean up, and that was pretty much it, right? Yeah. Huh. She didn't say I couldn't snoop. Where would you like to snoop? Um, you know that room that uh, w we found her and the other lady in? Uh, yes, that is her parlor. Currently, oh. you find yourself here. And you want to go to the parlor? I'd like to make my way towards the parlor at the very least. All right. You head back out into the large pool area. Uh, this is where the frogs were down here. Um, and you went and brought them back outside. And yeah. Now, you remember there's a way to creep up this way. It once was infested with wasps, but you and your friends took care of those. Yeah, uh, we'll go that way then. All right. You head back that way, uh, climbing up the stairs. Go ahead and give me a perception check. 18. 18. You have no issues going up the stairs, and you actually see it looks like those wasps were very intentional. Because you see Babylorna has laid out a sort of honeycomb and like the makings to bait wasp and you see there are actually some flying around it once again they haven't um, formed a nest yet but she is I sort see. of laid out bait for them mm. are there enough that i can get rid of the honeycomb 
Are, um, like, are there few enough that I can take the honeycomb and not get swarmed? Make an animal handling check if you'd like to attempt that. It's possible. Okay. I think, I think her thought here is to help friends later, because friends have to come back. Okay. Oh no, my streak is over. <laughs> the wasps sting you for six points of piercing damage. Oh, that's kind of... You get stung oh. several times. Ow, ow. Your hands are covered in little wasp things. You end Owie. up fleeing out. Now you're trying to sneak around, so go ahead and roll a stealth check now at disadvantage. 22. <laughs> 22. You managed to not draw her attention and you head upstairs where you see the cook, the one you helped with the buzzers, busy, uh, uh, busy preparing dinner. Oh. You sneak through quietly, trying not to draw their attention. And you sneak around and you see peering open this door you see inside uh well get you a little bit closer you see bavlorna sitting there and she appears to be eating some kind of snack and looking at various trinkets she owns she every once in a while will hobble around the room knock through some clutter. She doesn't know you're here, though. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Now, as a reminder, the areas that are blacked out on this map, you have never been to before. Uh, but everywhere else you have you have seen through your adventures. Okay. I think... And this was the downstairs as well, which looks like you fully explored. Hmm. I would like to go into... Is the only way into this... Not the room with the, the table and chairs, but the one behind it. With the... Like, it looks like an eating room. Like a like a this conference... Room? No, to the left. Oh, here? You've been uh, like there little before. You can like go down to room. the south and get there. Um, additionally, there's a door behind you to this room on the left, and there was a door in this room right here to this room to the right, and in the room that she's in, there's a door here. Hmm. I will take the door that's behind me um, to the left. Okay. Uh, the door that's behind you to the left. Opening that up, inside what you see is... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Inside you see it is a fully stocked pantry. There oh. contains dozens of jars, uh, pickling jars on wooden racks, most of them filled with things like pig snouts, toads, small birds, onions various cooking ingredients. One of the jars, you see there's a mushroom inside. What's it look like? You look at it, and as you do, one moment, one moment, the... Ba, 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 ba. You take a close look at it, because you've never seen something like it before. And then the mushroom's eyes sprout open. So good to see you. So good to see you. It yes. starts singing in falsetto tones. <gasps> oh, you're so cute. So good to see you, friend. Oh. Can you understand what I'm saying, little fellow? Can you understand what I'm saying, little fellow? Huh. Huh. Oh. She's kind of 
she was hoping she had maybe a little friend here, but just, I think has squirreled away this information of like, I bet more would like you. Kind of thinking to herself like, mm, my friend would really like you. But I think I will leave the little mushy alone. Find something that interests you. Oh, um, I just heard this little fella singing. I didn't know they could do that. Hmm. Well, I suppose you've worked up quite an appetite after working all day, hmm? Are you pleased with what I've done? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Very good work. After all, I, I should feed you. You are my guest. She reaches over and picks up the jar with the mushroom in it. Oh, no. Just go ahead and get the seat in the dining room. Okay. <laughs> I'm unsure, just like, okay, I'll go. I you go to push. the dining room? Yeah. Yeah, I do. You go into the dining room, and 15 minutes later, she comes back. As she walks in, she throws a plate on the table. Eh, I had bloody toast with this up for you. And there indeed is the little campestry cooked, based in various sauces and grease, fried in front of you, covered in no. breadcrumbs. <laughs> oh gosh. Um. I mean, she's going to eat the little mushroom. At this point, it would be a waste to not eat it. Roll a charisma check. Or deception. Not deception. This would be... Actually, let's say this would be... Roll a wisdom saving throw. Okay. To maintain your composure. Yeah. What's wrong, girl? Don't like the food? She sees you're kind of wincing and like holding back a little bit of tears and a sniffle as you eat this campestry. He just, he just did the cutest little song. Hmm. Tastes sweet though, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> she said. He does taste a little sweet, yeah. yeah. He's good, but he made the cutest little songs. Hey. Well, he's not going to be singing no more. <laughs> well, he might be singing from your backside later. <laughs> oh my gosh, this woman. Come um, now. You need to get to bed. I got lots of work for you in the morning. Okay. Okay. She She's leads done. you from the dining room after you finish your meal. She leads you over to a back room. Uh, one of the ones you hadn't explored. And you see, she opens the door for you. Inside is a single bed. Oh, okay. You see, the room's pretty dustied. It's uncluttered, though. Several shadow boxes hang on the wall on either side of the bed. The bed's linens are moldering though possibly need to be cleaned but the shadow boxes you see contained mummified pixies whoa little people with wings they are pinned to the boards like a collection of butterflies and she's still here uh Bavlorna? Yeah, she's watching you as you sort of acquiesce to the room. Who are these little guys? Mm -hmm. She's going to point to the little pixies. She's very interested That's in them. That's my They're... pixie collection. <laughs> huh? And she looks over at one. One of them, it looks like the glass had been broken open from the inside. And its contents are missing. Oh no, do you kill them? Or do they die before you put them in here? They're supposed to be dead. 
Well, Must have pinned that one a bit early. Uh, huh. Don't trouble yourself with it. I'll, I'll look around for it. It's got to be around here somewhere. Okay. Have a good night, dear. <laughs> she slams the door. Oh. She's just going to look behind the shadow box. Maybe Pixie is hidden in here. Little Pixie, are you hiding in here? Looking around, the shadow boxes have nothing on them. Nothing strange. Honestly, it's kind of sad. Each one of them looks hurt. It's like they died in pain. Yeah. Oh. But otherwise, uneventful. Nothing else in this room besides your bed. Do you go to sleep? I'm gonna or is there check something you want to do to try and help your friends throughout the night? Mm, that is the question, isn't it? Um, I think as as a guise, she's going to pick up the linens so she can wash them. Mm-hmm. Um, and head out. There's no library type room in this house, is there? There is no, no, there's not. Mm, actually, good question. Give me a investigation check from your time here so far. No. Yeah, no. Okay. You no. don't know of any library. You you actually aren't sure if Bavlorna reads very much or if indeed she can read. Mm, valid. I see. You collect the linens. You bring them downstairs to wash them. What else would you like to do? Hmm. I don't know if she's seen enough of this house yet to do anything sus. Uh, I, I could probably peek in Bavlorna's room now because she certainly probably isn't in there if she's looking for Pixie, right? Yeah. You wait a little while. Give me a stealth check. Wait, three. You wait until it's dark. And then you creep out of your room, out into the hallway, creeping by. Give me a, actually one moment. What is your passive perception? Uh, it's only 14. Okay. You creep through and you get to her room. She is not here. You believe she has gone to bed. Let's see. Those little cabinet, are those cat, uh, cabinets that I see on either side? Yes, there's uh, this room. Uh, it's very filthy. Dirty dishes and bits of discarded food lie everywhere. The furniture was perhaps once of fine quality, but now stains of mysterious origin model every surface. And the upholstery has been patched numerous times. Hmm. Looking around, you do see there's one dresser uh, to the right. Uh, that one, it has... Mm, one moment, actually. Uh, yes. This one to the right has various potions in it. Um, actually, the one to the left, yeah. This one has various okay. potions in it. Uh, the one over here, this is filled with various knickknacks uh, and things like notes and uh, notes. various bits of garbage. Yeah. I would like to read the notes. Okay. One moment, one moment. The notes are things that have been written down. They look like debts. Almost like a ledger of sorts of debts that people owe her. Any of note, any names I recognize or any large debts, I think. Large debts or names I recognize. You do see one 
and it pertains to someone named Vansell. Oh. What is the debt? It shows that Vansell borrowed and has not returned a pair of, uh, they are a set of glasses known as the Eyes of Charming. It hasn't returned them. Correct. What did, does it say what he bet or wagered or put on the line? It or was anything? a favor and he was intended to return that favor in kind. I see. Okay. No other debts that seem large or... Nothing else. Even if else. I don't know them. Okay. And then over here is the potion cabinet. Are they labeled? In any uh, way? Or organized in any way? Well, the cabinet's made of wood. Uh, it's The wood is still covered in bark. And there's actually patches of moss growing on it. You do see a lock in the middle of the panel. Um, mm. And you see that inside there are potions. The potions are labeled in Elvish. Do you speak Elvish? I speak Sylvan, but not Elvish. Make it's, clo it's a close language, so go ahead and roll a... Let's just call it a straight intelligence check. Oh, no. Okay. You see one is something about a potion of small. Okay. The other one you think says the word grow. And the other one, you think it's the word gone. Okay. Small, grow, and gone. But it's it's locked. Yes. Okay. So I need a key. All right. She's not going to try and pick it, but she may try and look for a key later. Okay. Um, and I think... Just to, uh... Cover my tracks a little bit. I think I will, like, just in case she finds out that I've been in here, I think I will, um, make a little pile of her dirty dishes for her. So it looks like if I was in here, I was trying to help her out a little bit, like I was cleaning up for her. Make another stealth check at disadvantage. Okay. An 11. Okay, one moment. You go and you collect dishes. Gather them all up, bring them to the kitchen, removing all the broken glass. It's a tedious project, but you are able to do it, but afterwards you are exhausted. That's fair. Okay, so then she'll go to sleepies. Okay. I have I've gathered one important bit of knowledge from this, and therefore... What is that bit of knowledge you've gained? I mean, she didn't know about Vancell. That, um, that little note. This is true. That note is important. You head to sleep. And as you try to sleep, it's quite lonely. It is. None of your friends are here. <sighs> yeah. Do you do anything to comfort yourself? Do I have any of my belongings on me? You do. You all have your belongings that are yours. You, No one's confiscated anything from you. My little pack. Okay. I think she'll go through... She'll empty out her pack. Just kind of, I don't know, when, when you kind of... Like, she is exhausted, but also it's a little scary to go to sleep here. So I think she'll just kind of empty her stuff out. You know, and like see the stuff that her friends gave her before they left. Um, she's still got her little, her little stuffed animal, right? Yes. In there? Okay. Your stuffed animal, the little owl that you retrieved from the witch-like carnival. Okay. Um. 
Yeah, I think she'll kind of she'll take the um. Was it, I think it was was it Nissa that gave her the moon phase amulet? I think so. I believe so. I think she'll kind of very jokingly like. It's it's not like playing dress up, but like almost like a she'll put it around the little owl. Just because she's not like she's not gonna wear it because I think she'd be scared that like Bev Lorna would take it. Okay. Um, just kind of like put it around the little owl and I don't know, maybe lay on her back and kind of set it on her tummy and just kind of look at it. Just like a, ah, uh, this is where I'm at. <laughs> I'm in a hag's house. And my only company is, uh, is this little stuffed thing. <laughs> Fair enough. You go ahead and kind of dress up the doll. Do you have a name for it? Um... I think she hasn't named it up until this point because it's just kind of a sentimental thing she has. But I think in the moment of her wanting some luck, because she's a like she trusts in her friends, obviously, mm -hmm. like she knows they're capable. But like she also knows that this is the Feywild and stuff has not exactly been easy for them yet. So she'll kind of like give it a little little head pat and. <sighs> Well, Clover, I think we're going to need some luck if we're going to get through this. And yeah, she'll she'll give it the name Clover because hopefully they're going to need luck. <laughs> they're going to need luck to get through this. You had to sleep. Mm -hmm. And while you're sleeping, go ahead and give me a wisdom saving throw. Despite everything that you've been through and despite the horrors you've seen at this place and your sort of anxiety about being in the same building as Bab Lorna, you sleep peacefully. And when you wake up, you see a little face staring at you. Is it just like, is it like on me or just looking at me from the side? You slept and as you wake up, this thing's standing on your chest. It's like a small creature. She's just going to kind of splay out a little bit. Like she's a little nervous, but it is a cute little creature. But that doesn't necessarily like Spring's also a cute little creature, but they'll still kill you kind of thing, you know? So she's still a little a little frightened. Wait, she's just gonna stare at it and, and hope that it'll get off of her. It kind of hops a little bit towards you, and you see as it hops, you see dangling from it is the little amulet that you put on Clover last night. Is, is looking around for Clover and does not see. Correct? Okay. Yeah. It's not hard to put together against all odds and all understanding. This is Clover sitting on your chest right now, blinking. Were you... And you hear it breathing. Are you Clover? You just make small little noises. How did you get like this? It sort of like flutters its wings a little bit underneath its cloak. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I can't have Bavlorna find you. <gasps> Shoot. Girl, where are you? Girl! 
you hear banging throughout the house. And that is where we will stop. <laughs> and we will resume next time. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of Cirque Sofe or uh, check out the rest of the show on YouTube or on Twitch at Magi RPG. Yay! See you next time! Okay, we can take a break there for a moment. Yeah. Uh, and I'll stop the recording for that one. And we also have, uh, we have spectators.